me fall out of love like shooting stars came crashing down and we're building back up again now I say your heart, say your mind, say all you hide I won't let you go, can't let you stay When you lose yourself, I'll be right beside you I say your heart, say your mind, say all you hide Okay. Hello, loves. Uh, welcome back. My name is Paige Ann, and I'm here with my beautiful model, Celeste. Hello. <laughs> and we just have a beautiful, angelic, natural tutorial for you today. <laughs> Let's get started. Yay. So we are just starting off with the Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 202 Creamy Natural. And then we're just doing the uh, cover, what are these, the cover effects enhancer drops. We're just kind of mixing those together because we want a very natural appearance to the skin. Okay. <laughs> That's probably too much. But I want to be prepared. That's pretty. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to kind of mix that on my brush. And I'm just going to apply that to the face. It's a little light for her. But I didn't actually have a perfect match for her skin tone. I have a weightless foundation, but uh -huh. it's really full coverage. Huh. Even though we're going for a natural look. Huh, yeah, it's pretty light. And then we're mm. just going to take our Naked Skin Concealer. And we're just going to go under the eyes so they look nice and brightened. You don't want to do too heavy of concealing because I'm still trying to keep it natural looking. And I'm just going to dampen my Beauty Blender with the Mario Badescu Setting Spray. This has uh, rose water in it mm -hmm. and aloe, so it's really nice for just under the eyes, kind of blending out that concealer. I love rose water. It <laughs> smells so good, too. Mm-hmm. I'm close your eyes. Mm-hmm. Gotta try to get that concealer. All nice and blended. My Laura Geller filter finish powder. I have mixed feelings about this product. Just gonna pat that under the eye to set that concealer. Now this does look beautiful for photos and stuff like that, but I wouldn't recommend it during the day. For bronzer, this is called Heat Wave. It's Be a Bombshell Cosmetics, and it's just a baked bronzer, but it's really nice and glowy and natural looking. I'm 
And you'll notice. And like I said before, I don't want anything too too bronze. I think that's good. <clears throat> We're gonna move on to blush, and this is Tarte, and it's in the same sensual. Sensual. All right. It's very natural looking on the skin, but it's very pigmented, so you only need a little bit. That's okay. Emotions are heightened when you're on camera. They just are. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, whatever. It all works out. Okay. <laughs> and that's all for blush. We don't need like too much. Now, my fingers are clean. Do you care if I put my finger on your face? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend doing this to a client. I would use a brush. <clears throat> but we're friends. We're friends, so we it can works. get away with it. And this is going to make our look go from a natural look to a mystical, ethereal look. Because I'm working with a celestial being. <laughs> yes. I should have brought my fairy wand. Oh, would have been perfect. Well, I'll have to bring that. I'll have to turn you into an actual fairy. Uh huh. Please do. Yes. And then you can bring your fairy wand. Uh huh. I'll bring my like outer space kimono. Yes. This be so fitting. I feel like I have a celestial thing. Yeah. That was a cool. Now I'm just putting this color on the high points of the face. It's almost Halloween. I know. Are you guys getting excited for Halloween? Because we're super excited. There's so many choices, like, oh my gosh, where to I start? Know. What do you think you want to be? <clears throat> um, I thought of, like, well, when I had longer hair, you know, with the orange and everything. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, poison ivy. Is that oh, so cool? yeah. Add more. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. We're just kind of turning in towards the camera more. This is Nikki Cosmetics, and this is a beautiful iridescent shimmering eyeshadow, but we're going to use it as a highlight today. We're going to use it as a highlight today, and we are going to put that on the high points of the face over that cream highlighter we just used. You can see on my hand there that it's very iridescent and ethereal. It's got that natural element to it, but it has a purple shift. I just want you to glow like a disco ball. Dang okay. it. And I can like sing a song. Staying alive. Mm -hmm. That's another video. Oh yeah. There's lots of songs to sing. Mm -hmm. With disco balls. Yes. Close your eyes. I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner. And since we're going for for an ethereal look, I'm just gonna kind of let the fallout do its thing, because it'll just add to the look in the end. And that's what makeup is about. You don't want everything to be too perfect at times, otherwise it'll you won't get the look you want. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes it's not very, like, inspiring, like, when you yeah. see, like, looks that are just, like, it's almost like, all right, like, where's the soul? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. I agree. Eyes. 
Wow. That's really big. They're, these are the Morphe palettes, and they're like, I don't know, what are they? $25, and you get like a ton of shadow. So they are only 25 minutes? Something like that. Yeah, and sometimes they go on sale, so they're only like 20 I think. Oh. And this is the Urban Decay palette, the, the Vice LTD. And I think it was limited edition. I'm just taking the shade Crystal, and we're going to pop that on the ball of her eye. There's lots of activity around here. Like I know. We've got geese going by, and there's fireworks still, and there's like even more than <clears> usual. <throat> oh, what's going on out there? <laughs> yeah. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow palette, and we're gonna be taking the shade Spectre, and we're gonna pop that on the ball of the eye as well. Take one of these brown shades right here, kind of mix in between the two of them. Looking to define. I would say the brows and the liner for me are the hardest to do on someone else. Really? Well, yeah, because it's like you want to go with their natural shape, but you also have yeah. a different shape in mind. Yeah. I think that looks really nice, though. What do you think? Look at the brows, because they have to be done right, otherwise the makeup's not going to be. I'm going to just let you um, decide what, what you think looks right, because you're the artist. Alright. And if it's right, it's right. Okay. I think they look good. They're not too defined, and they really kind of bring out your eyes. They're not, they frame her eyes nicely. So, yeah. I'm going to keep them like awesome. that. Awesome. What do we think on mascara? Yeah. Do you want mascara? Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Yeah, like sometimes like I think what's important in natural looks is, you know, you can do a little bit of mascara and like sometimes Yeah. Sometimes I'll even do like a little bit of like brown eyeliner in the corner. Okay. Yeah, I've done that before and it's looked really nice. And just hardly noticeable, but okay. it ends. <clears throat> and sometimes it's fun to do without, you know? Just depends. Yeah. That's why makeup is fun or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that face with the mascara where you look so surprised. Oh, you mean where you open you your like, mouth? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and stuff like that. I have that dreaded mascara face. Yeah, good times. <laughs> Okay. Yep, we're moving on to lips. I'm not doing a heavy liner. I'm not lining her whole lip. 
but I'm definitely lining the top of the cupid's bow. And then just a little bit on the bottom there. And then I'm going to blend that out <clears throat> using a lip brush. I literally never use a cinnamon foundation. Hmm. We decided we're going to go. We decided we're going to go for a kind of nude gloss. And then if we don't like it, we can change it. Natural ethereal. Mm. Yeah, I love it. I just need some wings. Some wings. Yeah, some fairy wings. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I had a I went to Val's and I got like yeah. a large fry. Yeah. And I just ate the whole thing and it was like the salt was just like almost like blistered my no, they're so salty. That's oh. like wow. Yeah. That's salt. That's not good. That happens to me with sugar. Like if I eat like pineapple or something, like that'll do that to the back of my throat, I feel. Mm-hmm. On both sides it can be extreme if you have too much. Yeah. And I'm just putting this pigment on the cupid's bow. And a little bit in the center of the lip. That looks cool. Cool. Yay! Oh wow, that's nice. That's pretty neat. Do you need to do anything else? <clears throat> like what? I think we're good. Let me check this out. Oh yeah. Check out the work. Oh wow, there's like, you know, you can see that color like kind of goes like from my brow and then yeah. down the cheek. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of like dimension, but not, you know, it's like dimension without all this dramatic, you know, yeah. like, hardcore makeup stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Like Hi, a little <laughs> ethereal butterfly could come and visit us today. Thank yeah. you so much for being on the channel. Yeah, it was silly and fun. <laughs> yeah, and I really feel like this look is so fitting for you. Yeah, now I can be a celestial being. Yes, it just brings out her inner beauty, which is what we like to do here on my channel. Mm, yeah, we like to kind of bring your inner beauty out and whatever that inner beauty is. Like, I feel like mine is kind of like rock, rocker, grunge, but glam at the same time. I feel like that's my, <clears throat> I don't know the words your I'm style, looking for. Your look, my your style, your look, your personality. Yeah, it's like my personality. I feel like when I wear that makeup, I feel the most myself, so. Mm -hmm. and it's like yeah. makeup as a means to like embellishing your fun personality. Exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. And she did that for me today. Woohoo. Yay! I like it. Good. <laughs> mm. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>
gosh. This bottle is running low. I actually grabbed a new one today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> no, I can edit this out. Oh, 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 great. Perfect. Yeah. I forgot about that part. <clears throat> Natural element to it, but it has a purple shift. <laughs> Those geese are going by again. Yeah, dang geese. Mm-hmm. It's that time of the year. <laughs> that time of the year. Oh gosh. Alright. I think I'm going to attempt to do the bottom lashes. But we're just going to do the top. <laughs> oh my god. That face though. <laughs> when BFFs do makeup. Oh my god. I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> They're going, we just like like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, it was like a look of fear. <laughs> I trust you. Okay. Good. I won't poke you in the eye, brother, but then it's before. Okay. I trust you with all my heart. Okay. Good. What? Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like just <laughs> I don't even know that was something really dramatic. That was so funny. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Does it look good like that? I can't really tell because um the thing is like right in the middle of your face. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That looks cool. Cool. <laughs> I have like this idea that it would be so cool and then I get in the camera. <laughs> 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 